Okay, so we had a return visit to psychosis. Again, another second time visit for us. First time was last year. This time we went back to psychosis in Elgin. This is one of those haunts that's high on set detail. Did you find it the same, better, worse this year, Laura? What'd you think? I better, better. I loved it last year. I really thought it was well done. I loved the set design. I mean, they put a lot into it. But this year was even better because some of the, the parts of the haunt last year that weren't quite as you know good or I wasn't as didn't think it was you know as good as it could have been um, they those parts were gone I mean and they added other things they changed things up a little bit but to me it enhanced it I mean greatly it was just I thought it was fantastic I mean this one is one I would definitely go to again and maybe twice in a season and definitely would be high on my list of top priority for you know next year I'd want to do it again they incorporated more stuff like I like the movie monsters in the in haunted houses that's my favorite thing and they do incorporate it this time and one of them got me really good <laughs> so I'm not gonna give anything away but it, one of the, my favorite movie monsters got me good in there and didn't expect it and um, like I said when they do the things with the movies I, I'm always impressed and they, it was very unique. They, they actually split up your groups and stuff too. They had, you know, we had, it was the three of us and there were three other people. We were in together with a party and they split us into groups of two. So of course I was with somebody I didn't even know and we, and, and everybody went in different mazes and it, it just kind of was unique. Something I haven't seen before, but like I said, overall, I mean, between the, the set designs, the details, the actors and the incorporation of the movie monsters and that theme, fantastic. Five out of five. I loved it. Did you have a favorite room? Um, well, there was a favorite room, but I don't want to give it away. Movie monster. There's a couple um, really good movie monster scenes, so, like, the ones I like. But there's actually, they have an Egyptian room that, I mean, it looks so good. I mean, it, it looks like you're really in Egypt or something. And then there's another, like a um, like a cemetery scene where like there's a crypt, and it, it actually, I mean, it was so well done. I mean, there's a castle scene. I mean, the sets are just incredible in this. And then they incorporated videos in, in part of it when they split us up, and you watch a TV screen, of course, and incorporates a movie monster theme to that. So it was right up my alley, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Five out of five. All right. And Michael, Psychosis in Elgin, what did you think? This was my first time there, but it's now my all-time favorite haunt. Um, excellent signage, probably the best I've seen. The actors knew how to scare you. They were uh, super entertaining, and they weren't too aggressive and in your face. But like I said, they did scare you. And uh, it was an excellent haunt, like I said. It's very, you know, it's, it's, it's long, so you get your money's worth. And it, the fact that they split you up at certain points, there's replayability. So you could go through and have a different experience each time. Was there any particular room that you liked? set um, design or anything like that uh, freddy krueger oh yeah there you go that's yeah. a good one all right so five out of five for you then mm -hmm. all right all right and i'm gonna give it a five out of five as well and i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna continue laura's tradition there are no spoilers in this one but i will say this everything that i didn't like about it last year and when i say didn't like i just mean liked a little less because i loved it last year they changed so I think that's great because that means the owners listen to people. I wasn't the only one commenting on these things. I read some reviews about last year's haunt, and I noticed that the things that people complained about in the reviews are now gone or changed or different, which is fantastic. I mean, it's great. It's nice to see a haunt a little bit different every year. It's also nice to see it better every year, and this one certainly was. Uh, one thing in particular that I didn't like last year was the kitchen scene very first scene when you came in there was a chef and a waitress and they they spent a long time in there talking to you yelling at you actually making you sing a song which i was not a big fan of and that's all gone i love that that that's gone high set design egyptian room uh wax museum area a giant spider room a boiler room with freddy krueger in it okay with night from nightmare on elm street plus the setup before all of that so many rooms that you can't even think about all of them. There are so many of them. One of my favorites was when they split us up, wound up in a half passageway. The passageway was about waist high. Laser lights all over the room. You walk through these half mazes, and there was a hooded guy. Come out. He came out right when we jumped, when we walked into the room, and he jumped out at us. And then he ran into the maze, and all of a sudden he was gone. He was dressed all in black. 
and I'm walking through the maze and over in the corner there's this black figure with a, a, a mannequin head and I thought oh they stuffed a mannequin in the corner no it was this guy he had a fake mannequin head on his shoulder and he jumped up as we went past just little stuff like that great attention to detail I will also say when you go into the wax museum a lot of movie monsters in there most of them are fake but one of them's real that's all I'm gonna say one of them's not fake and it was so good that everybody in the room with us applauded when this one this monster revealed himself to us because that's how good it was okay I mean it was a clever idea and very well executed I have to say and I love things that I don't see at other haunts we go to a lot of haunts this one had a room with a green laser light which you often see at haunts but this one the way they had it set up the way the light was it would hit us right at a right at chest level or so it looked like we were swimming the people in front of us looked like we were in water green water it was really great so we walked through Perfect. A lot of, lot of excellent effects in there. A long haunt, too. Over 20 minutes long in the haunt. And, again, just enjoying the set design. There was a castle set in there, a whole front of a castle, and walking through castles and crawling through different areas. And even going down a slide and some crazy clowns in there and an exorcism room. I could go on and on. Again, five out of five. It's well worth a trip out to Elgin. And you can hit two of them out there, Evil Intentions and Psychosis, at the same time. It's well worth it. Five out of five for me for psychosis.